okay guys so now you've got your account looking really good you've got the background your image your biography URL and your Twitter username that's very specific to you now I'd recommend following somewhere in the region of 10 to 15 people when you first start using Twitter just simply so you can have a, a reasonable conversation if you're a business you're going to want to start targeting individuals who are relevant to your field but also uh, people who might add value to your business also if we just bring your attention to this area over here, this is the what's happening area and this is where you create all your tweets or send out all your tweets. Also there's a box up here, if you just look to the top right hand corner you can click that box and this is exactly the same. Um, you can write your tweets there as well and send them out from that area. Uh, it's just two different alternatives to do the same thing. So if I wanted to send a tweet out to say someone like Stephen Fry, what I would have to do is I'd have to first of all, I'd have to put the at symbol before his name Stephen Fry I put a space and then I start my message and what I can do is just send that out to him but also I might want to attach a hashtag now what is a hashtag well a hashtag is simply um, one of these it's really a way of referencing particular keywords information services if you're a business um, could be things of interest, could be books, could be films, could be the names of particular things. It's just a way for me to send out information that tags or attaches to relevant information that other people can search, it can be looked for, and it, it's a good way of extending the conversation to other people. Mm. So in the case of Stephen Fry, I could put writer, I could put books, I could put comedy, and if I send that out to him, there goes the tweet and you can just see it there at the top of the timeline hi Stephen hope you're well and I've put a hashtag writer books and comedy now I'll just show you an example of how hashtags work so I've put writer so if I click writer it'll come up in the timeline anyone that's talking about writers or anyone that's referenced writers so there's someone else here Doris Olds so she's referenced a hashtag writer someone else writer stand up and this guy here as well so it's a really good way of getting involved in, in other conversations and really extending the conversation to the wider Twitter sphere